I were waiting to <laughs> go to the station and land in another, another part of the city. Yeah, yes, so I understand. So we can start, yes. She's coming, but in 10 more, more minutes, so let's start. Yes, we, we can start. So uh, for the first, let me thank you uh, for the possibility to visit your institute and to make a presentation. Uh, I'm here for the first time in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, and uh, my, pri uh, my primary, primary uh, work uh, was for Lomonosov uh, Moscow, Lomonosov State University, MSU, Mechanical and Mathematical Faculty. And um, right now, in, you can see this is what's happening right now in Russia. It's snow, it's a few days ago, and it's a view from my mother uh, fled uh, from her window and she sent it to me, yes, the snow and you see cars. And uh, uh, this is winter in Russia, yes. And this is MSU, uh, this is the main building and MSU, uh, where, yes. It's a view from the air and this is the place, uh, 12, uh, I think, uh, the 12th uh, uh, floor, yes, uh, where I work, yes, where my department was. This is Lomonosov Moscow State University. I am a specialist in mechanics of continua, uh, particularly fluid mechanics. And uh, today I will prepare a presentation uh, with the recent results, which are, mm, I think, uh, maybe interesting. Um, Sorry, uh, what day is it? Uh, after the Second uh, World War, I think the year was, I think uh, the year, I think the year, exact year uh, of entering, yes, uh, the building, uh, I think uh, 1956, uh, 58. It was entered, uh, it was entered, uh, but the university is very old. Uh, when I was a student, we celebrated uh, 250 years from the origin of the university. It's a new building, yes. It's a new building. The, uh, the old building, it's uh, in the center of Moscow, but it's not the center of the city. Yes, it's uh, a special university area. And this is the main building. Yes, this is the main building. Yes, these are other faculties. And yes, and this is park. Uh, so... Uh, no, 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 no. It's... Uh, uh, the park, of course, the park, yes, of course, but it's typical Soviet style, yes. Uh, this building is a typical Soviet style, yes, it's, it's Soviet style. Can you say it has uh, like different careers or No, 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 university has all faculties. That is why we can call it university. Uh, we uh, still believe, but now, now this word, the meaning of the word university uh, now maybe changed from what we think it's. Uh, the university should have all branches. Yes, humanitarian, humanitarian part, technical part, physics, uh, j uh, justice, and all, 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 all yes, all, all, all parts, yes, all, all parts. And in this building there are my faculty, yes, mathematical and uh, mechanical, uh, geographic, uh, geography and geology, geology, yes, geology, yes. It's strange, but <laughs> this is true, yes. Three faculty here in this building. Uh, yes, so uh, my work is uh, connected with uh, flows with oscillating boundaries, yes. Uh, what I mean, I will show you. I consider uh, the flow, I consider the flow in a plain channel, yes, in a plain channel, the flow uh, of a uh, viscose, a uh, compressible, heat conductive fluid. The channel is plain and uh, the walls are rigid. But some part of the walls, some part of the walls can oscillate or vibrate or move. But the move is with small amplitude. It's, uh, it's the, the very important thing that uh, there is only such kind of movement, yes? It's, it's oscillation, yes? It's oscillation or vibration. Yes, this I will call it, uh, this part section, vibrating section. So we have we have a flow in uh, plain uh, two-dimensional channel. Yes, and we have rigid walls, and some walls can oscillate. This is one uh, one of the vibrating section, and here is five, for example, five section. But there could be one section, two section, three sections, or maybe ten sections. Yes, uh, the system of equations. Uh, 
you see it's continuity equations. This is the governing, uh, the governing, the main system. Yes, yeah, it's, it's continuity equation. Uh, these are Navier-Stokes equations. Yes, Navier-Stokes equations for compressible viscous fluid. Yes, Navier-Stokes equations for uh, equations of movement. Yes, this is the energy for uh, the equation for uh, energy balance. Yes, there's equation for energy balance. T is temperature. Uh, we assume uh, that viscosity and heat, con heat conductivity are not constant. They are depending. They are, can depend from temperature. Uh, these are the laws of depending, this uh, degree laws. Yes, also we need, uh, this is dissipative function from the equation of energy. And finally, we need the equations of state Yes, to uh, close the system. It's, uh, they are very simple. It's ideal guess. It's ideal guess. Uh, P is rho RT, yes. And uh, the uh, internal energy, yeah, internal energy is directly proportional to the temperature. CV is constant. Uh, so this is the closed system of equation that we need to solve uh, in this problem. Uh, Nonlinear, of course. It's a nonlinear statement, and this is our problem. Of course, we need uh, boundary and initial conditions. Of course, of course, we need boundary and initial condition for this system. So, on the inlet, on the inlet of the channel, we set constant pressure, inlet pressure, and constant temperature. Yes, uh, inlet temperature. On the outlet, on the outlet, uh, also the pressure is constant but less. And uh, this is uh, dt over dx zero. It's uh, the soft condition for the temperature. Uh, yes, on the vibrating sections, on the vibrating sections, uh, we set uh, harmonical oscillations uh, for the vertical component of uh, the velocity vector. So U is horizontal co component, yes, of velocity vector, and V uh, is uh, perpendicular component of velocity vector. So uh, we set uh, oscillations, yes, harmonical oscillations. Uh, no, uh, initial conditions. Initial conditions, uh, it's the rest state, yes. Uh, the velocity vector is zero, uh, the pressure is constant, the temperature is constant. So, uh, with this system and with these conditions, we have uh, a closed, yes, we have a closed mathematical statement which we need to solve, yes, which we need to solve. Uh, we will solve it analytically uh, and we will solve it numerically. Uh, what's the goal of, yes, what is the goal of this um, investigation? Uh, I will show, I will show uh, that if, in only if, uh, this frequency will be selected right, will be selected right, there will be a resonance, a strong resonance, which will cause the acceleration of the whole, of the, yes, of, of the whole uh, flow, uh, then <laughs> this, uh, this flow will be acting like a gun if you uh, li like a gun, yes. So even if the pressure are constants here and here, yes, here and here, the pressure are constant, so the gradient, yes, the inlet pressure is constant and the outlet pressure is, is constant. If we can, if we can choose a right frequency, a right frequency of impact, yes, of wall impact on this flow, we can accelerate, we can accelerate the flow so, so, so much. So we need the right frequency, and I will call this resonance, yes? I will call this resonance solution. So the main goal is to achieve resonance solution. So now, uh, analytical solution, yes, I will only briefly, yes, because it's, uh, it's rather complicated. Yes, we, uh, it's linearized statement, yes. Uh, the initial system is rather difficult, of course, and it's nonlinear. So we can linearize uh, the system uh, near the state of rest, so the parameters with zero, yes, are the undisturbed parameters, and the parameters with strokes are small deviations, yes, they are small deviations. Uh, from the main, uh, from the undisturbed solution. So uh, this is the linearized statement, uh, which we will try to solve. Yes, which we will try to solve. We can, we see one, two, three, four, uh, four equations, of course, uh, and the equation of state. Yes, uh, we will exclude. Yes, 
we will exc exclude from the system uh, the lost components and uh, then uh, we will come to uh, only two equations for uh, uh, density and uh, for temperature only two uh, only two equations uh, for two uh, unknowns yes and after the excluding for example temperature uh, we can get finally uh, only single equation for one variable for example for the density and the identical yes the identical equation is valid also for the temperature in these equations it's the main governing equation yes uh, in these equations you see uh, A0 is the velocity of sound, yes, the, it's a velocity of sound, and it's uh, depending only of temperature, uh, yes. And two dissipative, uh, two dissipative uh, terms, uh, one is connected with viscosity, is uh, kinematical viscosity, and another is connected with heat conductivity. So uh, these are, these or these, they are identical equations, these are the equations to solve, yes, only uh, for example for density or only for example for temperature. Uh, if we consider non-viscous and non-heating conducting fluid, I will call it ideal fluid, this equation will reduce uh, to uh, rather famous, it's wave equation, it's rather famous and in uh, partial differential equations, uh, students uh, know and maybe the course started with this hyperbol hyperbolic equation. Yes, it's a uh, wave equation uh, for ideal fluid. Uh, but, for example, for viscose, uh, but not heat conducting fluid, yes, uh, we will obtain this equation. And uh, for non viscose, but heat conducting fluid, the equation will reduce to that. Uh, I will show the results for um, this equation because only in this case we, we can uh, obtain the solution analytically, pure analytically, yes, because in this it's impossible, yes. So for viscose but not heat conducting fluid we can obtain the solution analytically. analytically. Uh, these are the simplified uh, boundary conditions uh, for the density, yes, because we will solve the problem for the density. Uh, so, uh, briefly about the uh, method of uh, solving, it's Fourier's uh, method of dividing variables. Uh, choosing another, introducing another new variable, uh, for example, rho with tilde, we can set to zero boundary conditions, uh, boundary conditions uh, in perpendicular direction, and uh, then we can, uh, we can uh, uh, expand, yes, expand this new variable uh, on sinus, yes, as the sum of sinus, it's a series by sinus. Then we introduce another variable and we can uh, set to zero boundary conditions uh, in uh, x direction, yes, in main direction. And after all of this, after all of this substitution, another, uh, we can get just ordinary definitional equation for unknown functions. Yes, these are unknown functions of time with certain initial conditions. So uh, these are uh, these are this rather complicated. Yes, it's rather complicated equation uh, for uh, viscose, of course, not heat conducting uh, conductive fluid. Uh, yes, but it's ordinary differential equation, and uh, it's in homogeneous because you see the right uh, the right part of this. It's not zero. Yes, and we can solve it. Uh, interesting that we can solve this equation. Yes, analytically, we can solve this equation analytically. Uh, the solution contains two parts. Yes, it's general solution. Yes, as usual, uh, the solution is the sum of general solution and the part, yes, and partial solution. Uh, the most interest for us is the partial solution. So we will try its uh, amplitude. It's the amplitude of Yes, it's the amplitude of uh, the partial solution, and we will try, we will try uh, to select, yes, uh, to select uh, the uh, frequency to make it uh, the maximum. Yes, to ma to make it the maximum, to reach it the maximum. Uh, I call it searching for resonances. Yes, searching for resonance. To search for resonance, yes, uh, we will see uh, this amplitude. Yes, it's the amplitude of solution. 
yes. And we will just uh, find the maximum. And uh, we can show that the maximum will be on these uh, frequencies. Uh, it's not even one frequency, it's a spectrum of fre frequencies with two integers, yes, n and k. It's, uh, uh, it's integers, so it's a spectrum of uh, frequencies with which uh, the solution will reach the maximum. Uh, you see here, uh, A is the velocity of sound. Yes, the velocity of sound. Uh, here is the viscosity. Uh, uh, these are uh, the channel's uh, length and the channel's width. So it's for viscous fluid, yes. It's, uh, it's pure, analytical, pure analytical expression for viscous fluid. For ideal fluid, uh, it will be simplified. Yes, it's rather simplified. Uh, this is the velocity of sound and uh, the uh, dimensions of the channel. So that's all we need, yes, that's all we need uh, to get the whole spectrum, yes, the whole spectrum of resonance frequencies. Uh, it's interesting that uh, these mm, two frequencies virtually do not differ, yes, they are very close. So if, if we want, for example, in our modeling, yes, we want to take the viscosity into account, of course, yes, we get another uh, <laughs> well, we get another expression, but it differs from this one from medial fluent. Uh, I think less than one percent. So they are very very close. Yes, they are very very close. And for example, in numerical simulation, I choose this formula because <laughs> it's it's rather simple. Yes, it's this is uh, more complicated, uh, but they are no differ so much. So, and this is, uh, for example, the solution for the concrete fluid, yes, for the air, yes, it's the solution for the air. Uh, uh, this is density, yes, this is density, and uh, this is uh, the length of the channel, yes. Uh, and uh, these are different, and uh, these are different uh, frequencies from the spectrum. Uh, so, the resonance, uh, yes, you see uh, the periodical character of, for example, for, uh, for this, uh, for this frequency, uh, we have the periodical uh, uh, character of um, a solution, but on resonance, yes, on the lead frequency, you see, uh, the most amplification of the solution is for the lead, for the first, for the first uh, frequency from, uh, for the first frequency uh, from the spectrum. Yes, uh, um, the amplification it's uh, rather huge, you see, because uh, so. Even, if, uh, even uh, you know, uh, the impact is very low, for example, impact, impact is very low, but the change is in density, the change is in density of the air. Uh, you see, it's, it's uh, are, are rather huge. But, of course, only for the first, yes, only, only for, this, or for uh, this frequency, but for others, of course, uh, it's reduced. Uh, so it was analytical part. Yes, it was analytical part. Of course, it's very interesting to make a numerical simulation. Yes, and see uh, how this amplification. Yes, it's real or not, and what will be in the full nonlinear statement. Yes. Uh, so we need a numerical scheme to solve this rather complicated. Yes, rather complicated system. And uh, the main method is splitting on physical processes. Uh, what is it? Uh, we will divide uh, the uh, step uh, by time in two stages. Yes, in two stages. On the first stage, uh, the governing system uh, we will consider without dissipative terms. Yes, so we will omit viscosity, even we will omit uh, temperature. Yes, so on the first half step, yes, on the first stage, it's a half step of the step of integration. Yes. Uh, we will solve only uh, the governing system without dissipative terms uh, for ideal fluid. Yes, it's the equations for ideal fluid, Guy's dynamic equation. Yes, Guy's dynamic equation. So uh, we can, uh, for uh, we can solve and integrate uh, this system uh, by explicit, uh, by explicit schemes. Yes, and after after it's done, yes. We move to stage two, and we will integrate dissipative terms, yes? We will integrate dissipative terms, so uh, the viscosity and uh, the temperature terms are now uh, are working. And we use implicit schemes, yes, we use implicit schemes of second-order accuracy. 
and so we can integrate uh, this system. Of course, uh, the schemes are very huge, and I will uh, will not show it. Uh, yes, so only the results. I will show only the, uh, the results. They, I think, are rather interesting. So um, this is um, uh, the pressure. You see, uh, this is the pressure uh, in ordinary regime. Uh, what's ordinary non-resonance? Yes. So if we choose any frequency, yes, any frequency or weak one, and we can see what's happening with pressure. Yes, uh, this is the pressure minus atmospheric pressure. Uh, yes, they see uh, that the deviations, that the deviations, yes, uh, of pressure are not so much. Uh, it's only an impact uh, of the walls. But, but, on, uh, for example, on uh, lead resonance regime, yes, uh, you see this is the resonance frequency, it's about for this uh, case, uh, for the air. It's the air and the channel one meter long and uh, 10 centimeters, uh, I suppose 10, 10 centimeters uh, were height. Yes, it's about, the resonance frequency is about uh, 1,000 hertz, yes, 1,000. So uh, it's rather acceptable for technical uh, applications. So I think it's not ultrasound, yes. Uh, it's possible, yes, it's possible to make uh, such an impact. And you see the solution, yes. Uh, you see the solution for, the, uh, for a, a pressure, for example. It's rather close to the results of linear uh, theory, yes. Uh, the maximum, yes, the maximum in the center uh, of the channel. And it's, uh, for example, it he here it was only 40, yes, 40 Pascal, but, but here it's more than 1,000. So it's, it's really a resonance, and we see uh, the real uh, amplification, yes. It's real amplification in amplitude of pressure. If, for example, we, mm, the temperature, yes, if, for example, uh, for example, we can see the temperature, yes. Ordinary regime, yes, uh, we see uh, like a periodical, yes, it's, it's uh, like, like a periodical uh, type of solution. Uh, but on a resonance, on resonance, yes, uh, we see uh, that the fluid is hotter, yes, it's hotter in, in the center of the channel, like in the linear theory. Uh, yes, but the changes, uh, the changes are not so, the changes are not so great, yes, uh, because uh, when I just started this work, I was criticized so much <laughs> when, I when I just uh, started to make a first presentation. Uh, I saw, uh, they say to me that uh, first it's impossible, it will be not working at all, it's impossible. Second, uh, you, have, uh, you have violated the uh, energy cons conservation law. You have violated the energy conservation law, uh, they said to me. Uh, because uh, when I just started this, uh, this investigation, yes, I need to uh, show, the, show the system of equation. Uh, the first thing, uh, thing was to solve it without this equation. So I started the, the, first, the first steps on, uh, on uh, this direction, yes, the first steps on this problem was only to solve uh, the equation, yes, uh, uh, Navier-Stokes equation and continuity equation and not, yes, and not the balance energy. So. Uh, when they said to me that you have violated, yes, that it's impossible, yes, it's impossible to ac accelerate the flow only by uh, such an impact, yes, only by such, it's impossible, they say. So you need to solve and you need to integrate uh, also the uh, equation of balance. That just, prove, uh, just prove that there is no problems. Just prove us that there is no problems with uh, balance, uh, with energy equation, yes, with energy balance. Show us the temperature, yes, they show, us, show us the temperature. And the second step, the second step for me, uh, which now I'm telling, yes, uh, that I have solved this problem with the whole statement, yes, with the energy balance, yes, the energy balance. Uh, and what about temperature? Yes, what, what, what about temperature? Temperature is all right. <laughs> you see, temperature is all right. Uh, yes, it's only this 20 degrees, 21 degrees. Uh, okay, on resonance regime, one degree, you see. So I, uh, I can increase the temperature on resonance regime uh, by such an impact only for one degree. Okay, it's... 
no, no problem. Yes, it's no collapse, no, no something that will be violate, the, for example, uh, the energy equation, yes, or the energy conservation law. Yeah, 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 I, I do not see violation. So the most interesting thing is, of course, uh, mass flow rate. Yes, where is the acceleration? Yes, we, uh, there is the acceleration of the flow. So uh, Q is uh, mass flow rate, kilograms per second, uh, on the outlet, on the cross-section, on the outlet cross-section. So uh, this is the right curve, is the main, uh, the lead resonance, yes, the lead resonance frequency. Uh, the black curve is uh, no, uh, no movement. Uh, just uh, no movement of um, uh, rigid walls, yes, just walls at rest, yes. So these are the walls at rest, yes, these are the walls at rest. And you see the stationary regime, yes, it's stationary regime after one, after one minute, for example, yes, after one minute, it's a stationary regime. And what we have uh, on the lead frequency, yes, uh, these are... Uh, these are the, the frequencies that are close. Yes, they are close to resonance. Yes, they are close to resonance frequency, uh, but only close. And so you see, the effect is only the effect is only uh, on this frequency. And uh, you see, uh, six, for example, two, yes, triple. We we have triple. Uh, we have tripled uh, the mass flow rate only by yes. I, uh, I say it again, o on, only by uh, small, on, only by small vibrations, yes, only by small vibrations uh, of the rigid walls, only by small uh, uh, impact of the walls, but on the right frequency, yes, on the right, on the right frequency, and only one, yes, this is only one frequency, because I also tried in other frequencies uh, from the spectrum, there is no effect, so uh, only the first, only the lead frequency. Yes, so this is, uh, this is the main result uh, of the investigation. And uh, the results, uh, briefly, yes. I think that compressibility is the cornerstone of this investigation because even vanishing compressibility, vanishing compressibility of max numbers uh, can zero, can cause the origin of resonance. Yes, they can cause the origin of resonance. Uh, resonance frequency depends on the velocity of sound and the geometry of the channel, yes, its width and its length. Viscosity and heat conductivity lead to negligible changes of the resonance frequency value, yes, but the amplitude of solution immediately becomes finite. Uh, the resonance leads to periodical changes of low parameters within maximum, with maximum amplitudes, yes, and after a while, after a while, for example, one minute, in simulations. Only at the resonant frequency, the nonlinear cumulative effect arises. Yes, flow mass rate is sharply increased. Yes, it's sharply increased, even at the constant pressure gradient. Yes, so it's the main. Yes, it's the main result, I think. Uh, it's the main result, I think. Uh, so we can accelerate, yes, we can accelerate the main flow just uh, to select, uh, just selecting the right frequency, yes, and for this frequency we have exact analytical solution, yes, we have exact analytical solution and we can choose such frequency and by such an impact, yes, such an impact of the rigid walls, uh, we can accelerate the whole, uh, the whole Yes, the whole flow. Uh, what are the applications? Uh, what are the applications, of course, of uh, this finding? Um, I think if we need to transport, for example, gas on o and oil, yes, we need to transport it from kilometers, yes, kilo kilometers from one country to another country. What can we do? Yes, uh, we can do, uh, we can do, uh, i show you the channel. Uh, we need some some sections. Yes, we need uh, we need to put uh, we need to put uh, such vibrating sections. Yes, on the of course on the right frequency. Uh, I think uh, in my simulations there was one meter. Yes, it was one meter uh, and five sections uh, five sections uh, ten centimeters. Yes. 10, 10 centimeters. For example, it's if uh, one kilometer or 10 kilometers, of course, and we need and we need to transport gas on oil to another country. Uh, of course, it's questions. Uh, it's a question how much yes, how much sections we need 
to get the effect. Yes, to get the effect. So I think uh, mm, no, it's, it's for future simulation, for future work, because uh, now we need uh, a cluster, yes. We, we need a, a huge computational uh, uh, complex, yes. Uh, for example, to simulate uh, uh, a, a real channel, uh, for example, not for the meter, yes, because no, it's one meter. Yeah. But if uh, 10 kilometers, maybe... Uh, maybe 100 kilometers. Of course, uh, we need computational times. Yes, of course, we need to prove the numerical schemes because my uh, my schemes are, of course, not ideal. Yes, now, I'm not a specialist you know, even in uh, numerical simulations. Yes, so my schemes are, are not ideal, of course. Uh, so I see uh, the next step. Yes, the next step, of course, uh, we need to uh, simulate. Uh, for example, a real uh, oil or gas transportational system. Yes, we need to simulate a, a real, for example, a real uh, transportational system for oil and for gas. Uh, we need to put the, uh, the section. I'm not sure how, how much. For example, one on uh, 100 meters, or one on 10 meters. I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm sure that the effect, that this effect, is real, yes. I'm, I'm sure that the effect is real, yes. But uh, how implement, how to implement it in real engineering practice, uh, practice uh, is question. Because I'm only a theor theor theoretician, yes. I'm only a theoretician. I, I can, uh, I can solve equations, yes. I can uh, somehow uh, do numerical, conduct numerical simulations. Uh, but the engineering practice, uh, yes, and the engineering applications of this, for example, to transport oil or gas, of course, uh, it's a question and it's the next step, yes, and it's the next uh, direction of uh, developing of this uh, problem. So I think, I think it's the end of my presentation. So I think it's the end of my presentation. I have the only this slide. <laughs> it's, it's the final, so yes, it's the final picture, yes. If you have questions, uh, I can answer it, of course. Yes, thank you. In my simulations, it was fixed, yes, I have fixed the pressure gradient. For example, on the outlet, it's atmospheric pressure, and uh, on the inlet, uh, I set the pressure um, not to get... Uh, so the velocities in, of the flow um, are very low, so I think uh, one meter per second, not more, not more. So it's no turbulent flow. It's uh, because I also have a question that on how the turbulence on the resonance regime may, may, maybe it will what will be yes maybe we'll, 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 you will uh, know the acceleration yes so uh, the pressure on the inlet uh, differs from the pleasure, pr pressure on the outlet not so much and the velocities are low uh, so What, what? If you set the pressure gradient very close to zero, so there's no movement. Yes, yes, of course it's very interesting. Can we? Yeah, I, I understand. The question is, the question is, can we, can we just, um, for example, generate the flow yes can we generate the flow yes can we generate the flow only by these impacts yes only by by these impacts but when the gr pressure gradient is easier i believe i believe that we can uh, but right now i cannot prove this <laughs> right now i cannot prove this but i think that uh, if the frequency is a resonant frequency i think there will be a flow i think there will be a flow Yes, it's the question, and I have no answer right now. Uh, where, where will be the direction of the, on this flow? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I understand. The amplitude of vibration is um, mm, 
Yes, uh, uh, there is uh, uh, the width of the channel. Yes, and it's uh, the amplitude of vibration is less, uh, less, less than one percent, uh, less than one percent uh, of the width of the channel. So, for example, for example, it's the width of the channel is ten centimeters. Yes, it's ten, ten centimeters. Yes, it's. For example, less than millimeter, I think. So, so, so it's re it's really small. It's it's it's. I think uh, at, uh, the frequency. Yes, uh, the resonant frequency in these conditions. Uh, Uh, yes, the resonant frequency, uh, you see it's 1,000, yes, 1,000, uh, yes, 1,000 gertz. So it's not an ultrasound, but it's rather high. It's, it's rather high frequency. But I think it's technically possible. So it's technically, it's technically possible to make sense. Yes, I, I think it's possible. Yes, by by only by the sound. Yes, no, not by 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 the rigid walls, but only sound. For example, sound sound vibration. Yes, uh, it, it it can be rather strong. Yes, strong sound vibration. Maybe it's also possible. It's it's interesting to think uh, in that direction. Yes, but it's I think for for the future investigation. Yes, for for example, just uh, just sound. Yes, for, for just sound to accelerate. Uh, yes, to accelerate the main. Uh, the main flow. Yes. Of course. Uh, for of course. Uh, and it's a tube, yes, it, it, it could be a tube, yes, because this is a model. Uh, Two-dimensional channel, of course, it, it, it's, 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 it's a model. Yes, yes. Axisymmetric, yes. We, we need a t real tube. Yes, we, we need a real tube. Uh, we need also mm, kind of an impact. Yes, kind of an impact. With it, it, it's a tube uh, with movable. Yes, tube with movable borders. Yes, we need we, we need s s some kind of a tube. Yes, and of course uh, the theory will be uh, the theory will be, will be well valid. Yes, the th theory will be valid. No. No, 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 no. It's not inf infinity. Ah, perpendicular, perpendicular direction, of course. Yes, two D. Yeah. Where did the, this idea came from? Oh, <laughs> this idea came from. Uh, this idea came from. Um, um, uh, the word. Um, second. Uh, I need one word. Yes, <laughs> I need. I need one. I, I need one word. Um, I need one word because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, in Spanish, it will be. What's in English? <laughs> Columpio. Yes. For kids. Huh? <laughs> For the kids, yes. Um, can you imagine we, what we can? We can. Columbia, for example. Yeah. For example, uh, I have such an impact. Yes. Uh, yes. For example, uh, can I make the Columbia to rotate, to rotate around only by by this impact? I can. I can. So it's possible. It's possible. So I can just. The right frequency resonance. Yes, I need the right frequency. If the frequency will be right, I can only by just an impact, only by just an impact, make it rotate on the. Yes. So uh, it's the idea from theoretical mechanic mechanics. Maybe it's uh, an example for uh, resonance and theoretical mechanics. But I think that in fluid dynamics, in fluid dynamics, we. Can uh, we can do the same? Yes, the effects. Yes, there is the same. There is the same thing. Yes, if, if we can do the thing with the Columbia, 
yes, yes. I am sure that we can uh, we can do the same thing in fluid dynamics. Yes, we need the right frequency. Yes, we need uh, uh, and there will be a strong and huge acceleration of uh, so so the idea came from this this very simple uh, this very simple thing. Yes. Yes, of course. Which and would be the parasitical parameter that give the characteristic time in your system? Compressibility, the velocity of sound. Okay. The main thing is the compressibility and the velocity of sound, yes? In compressible fluid, we have the velocity of sound. So the velocity of sound is the key to resonance. The characteristic time came from the velocity of sound, yes? For air, we know it, yes? For air, we know, it. We know the velocity of sound. No, definitely no. I, I think no. You, uh, I will show you one thing. Yes, it's a question. Yes, uh, I have uh, just uh, the question. Uh, you see that the model. You see that the, oh, the model. A second, I'll show you the model. Uh, you see that the viscosity, the viscosity in the model, is not constant. It, it uh, depends on the temperature, yes, and, conducti and heat conductivity, oh, of course, depends from the temperature. And the question was, maybe, maybe on resonance, maybe on resonance, the temperature will change. For example, the viscosity, yes, the viscosity that is not constant also will change. And, of course, uh, the resistant force due to viscosity also we can, for example, increase it or... Maybe or, or maybe decrease. In, decrease. Yes, but but the solution. Yes, uh, the solution. Yeah. <coughs> On the temperature. Then we see uh, the temperature. The temperature even on the resonance. You see, the temperature even on the resonance solution changes only for one degree. So the viscosity. Uh, if the changes of temperature is one degree, the viscosity is constant. Yes, the viscosity is constant and the heat conductivity is constant. So I think that uh, the effect, it's not the changes in viscosity. I think it's pure resonance nature. It's only resonance. But, but, but no, the changes in viscosity or maybe the changes in heat conductivity. But it's, uh, yes, it's an important question. Yes, it's, it's an important question. And uh, one of my goals of this simulation is to answer to this question because uh, many people uh, say uh, there is no resonance uh, it's no resonance uh, uh, the viscosity is fall, falls down yes the viscosity falls down in your problem and of course uh, you can accelerate the flow yes because the flow because the resistant force uh, became lesser yes so uh, it's no resonance yes no resonance but uh, this the change in, in viscosity but mm, no no uh, no, uh, the viscosity changes with temperature, and the changes in temperature are very low. So, so viscosity is, is, is near constant here. So it's even even cumulative nonlinear resonance effect, like like the pendulum. Yes, it's a word I try to remember. Yes, the pendulum. <laughs> Uh, of course, but they are on now. Uh, I have uh, have not these figures on on the slide. Um, I think. Um, oh, you see the pressure, for example. Yes, the pressure. Uh, for a vertical velocity, uh, we have something the same, uh, but uh, the changes. Yes, the changes in vertical velocity uh, are very low. Yes. The uh, uh, no. Uh, no, the actual velocity is close. Mm, I have this, of, of course, I, I, I have, uh, have not uh, right now the sketch. Uh, the actual velocity. Ah, uh -huh. I, I, I can, ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, this is stationary Poiseuille flow, you know. Um, 
for example, yes? Yes, it is stationary. For, for, for turbulent flow, we will have, for turbulent flow, we will have something like this. Yes, it's for turbulent flow. Uh, and for this problem uh, on the resonance, yes, we will have um, something between this and this, something between uh, this and this. Uh, but the maximum velocity, yes, the maximum velocity will be much greater than uh, this. So it can be, uh, for example, something like that maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I will put this, I, I need to put this, of course, because its question is uh, rather important. Yes, I, ne I need to put uh, the horizontal velocity, of course, uh, here on the slides, because not to, <laughs> not to need to go to the board and to... Uh, mm -hmm. I think, yes, I have tried the simulations with only one section, two sections, three sections, three sections, five sections. Uh, three sections is not enough uh, to cumulative resonance. Three sections is not enough. Four, not enough. Five, all right. So uh, it's a kind of... And if you have one section but of great... Yes, but for example, uh, for example, yes, one section but long. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, longer. Um, the effect will be if uh, the length of the section is more than half uh, than uh, half than the length of the channel. I think so. So you need minimum uh, you need minimum half a channel. Okay, so it is more or less a channel because if you split the, the sections in in a smaller ones, you don't have to accumulate like a fifty percent of, of the length of the. Of the uh, it's a, it's a question. It's, it's a question, yes. I understand your question. Uh, but uh, we need more simulations. We need more and more. Yes, we need, we need more and more simulations to answer. It. It's, it's very interesting, yes. But, uh, but I have only restricted uh, simulations, yes, only for five sections and three sections. But of course, we need uh, full geometry. Of course, uh, we need not one meter, yes. We, we need 100 meters. Uh, we need to try uh, rather configurations, yes. We need rather configurations with sections uh, to get the effect, yes. Yes, to, uh, to, uh, to get this effect. But I think for, uh, for that geometry that I have presented, yes, uh, five sections are enough. And uh, the whole, yes, the whole length of the sections are more than half, uh, more, more, than, more than half of the length of the channel, yes. And the effect will be, yes, the, the resonance will be. Uh, yes, uh, there is experiment. Yes, Everybody there is. Everybody will have uh, a question about, <laughs> okay, do you have a real setup for this? Uh, we have, uh, 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 yes, we, we, we have approach. Uh, yes, uh, f um, we can do uh, what? Uh, this, for example, the sea. Yeah, or the ocean, or in laboratory, of course, uh, we can we can such this. Yes, this is uh, this is mm, the site. Yes, for example, is uh, where is one uh, I think section one plate, uh, and even in reality, in uh, in seas or in oceans, there are plates that can vibrate. Yes, it can be. Yes, it can be. Uh, for example, uh, yes, this can be vibrate. And if you know what is killer waves, killer waves. Something like the 100. Uh, yes, uh, they are uh, enormous uh, waves. Yeah, yes, yeah, enormous yeah. waves. Yes. Um, uh, uh, not tsunami. No, 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 not tsunami. No, no, no. 
killer waves, yes. It's a phenomenon, it's rather famous for the specialists, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there are a lot of people. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my hypothesis of the origin of these waves, that's uh, the cause of these waves, is some kind of resonance. If, if the frequency of uh, the vibrating of this plate, yes, is right, is right, is selected right, then here, then here, we can, yes, uh, we can violate, uh, we can violate a killer wave, a great wave. Uh, so uh, in laboratory, yes, it's possible, it's possible to, to make it in the laboratory, yes. Uh, we, we, we need a swimming pool, for example, yes, a swimming pool, uh, yes. Uh, we need, yes, in swimming pool, we need one section, for example, yes. Yeah, yeah, gra gravity going down, yes. Not so easy, of course. Not so. No, it's it's not so easy, but I think. But a restricted channel like the domain you are showing your presentation is more easy. Uh, One meter wide and. It's a question. What what is easy? I think I think this setup is easier. It's is easier, I, I think, but I'm not an experimentator, and maybe I'm, <laughs> maybe I'm not. I'm, I just, I'm not a specialist in, in, in experiments. Uh, uh, Accelerating to the bottom of the of the swimming pool is is not so easy. But not so easy. The size yeah. of the of the channel usually is more easier. Ma uh, maybe yes, uh, maybe. So uh, another part, yes, another part of this work is experiment, of course. I'm just a theoretician, yes, and I have, have yes, a, yes, a, I need a, colleagues, a, yes, I need colleague, colleagues, yes, with experiments. I, I can show them the geometry, yes, I can show them the right frequency, yes, I can show, yes, this is the, the frequency, just, just vibrate on this frequency, and we will see, we will see, killer wave or not, yeah. <laughs> there will be killer wave or not, there will be acceleration. You can find of the, another frequency also, you know, if you, even if you are not the right one, you can find, you can see the Way. Yes, we yes, if we're close, we yes, if we're close, yes, if we're close to this frequency, uh, we are close, for example. Yes, the effect will be, uh, but not so, uh, not but so large, not, large. yes, yes, not so, not so large, yeah, yes, yes, not so large. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Worms that uh, swim by changing their thickness. So they transfer momentum to the water by it's a special type of swimming that I don't know the name, but <laughs> uh, I see many works on that because there is a team in France that works with that. So they transfer momentum to the water by changing their thickness. Yes, I understand. So it's like the conjugate of this, if I understand well. And if there you have a, 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 as you generate an increase of flow rate by, by your Maybe. Maybe it's possible. Yes, uh, the thing you're talking about is peristaltic motion. I think it's peristaltic motion. Uh, in my opinion, it's another thing. In my in my opinion, in my opinion, yes, peristaltic motion is not another thing. Yes, because this uh, this is this is this is acoustic uh, impact. Yes, uh, with small amplitude because peristaltic motion uh, need a huge amplitude. Yes, you need you need huge amplitude. Yes, it's 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 it's, it's real huge amplitude. Here only small amplitudes. Yes, here only so only small amplitudes. Yes, but so it's not peristaltic. It's 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 not peristaltic motion. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.